Hey Pickles! So if you want to see how I do my Instagram style brows, basically I go from this to this. Not that quick, but pretty quick. If you want to see how I do this, then stick around because I am about to show you. <laughs> So, to start off with, I brush my masses of natural brow hair upwards just to tidy them up, lay them in place and give me an idea of how thick my brow is going to be and then I map out the shape that I'm going to use with the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Auburn and she is... she orange, but you know, we're going to go over it anyway don't even worry about it so I draw the underneath line first and then create the arch with the top line this is the revolution pro brow pomade in the shade Auburn and this is going to be the main product that I use on my brows and I always apply it with my favorite jealousy pro duo brow brush I do have a discount code for uh, all jealousy products all discount codes are going to be listed in the description below. The first thing I do is follow the outline that I have created and now you can really see how orange that pencil is. Do not recommend it as a standalone product unless that's obviously what you're going for. And then I fill in the tail up to the arch and feather that through the front of the brow to soften it. I then use, same again, Revolution Pro uh, Duo Brow Powder and this is in Ash Brown because I do like my brows that little bit darker and this is just a cheapy angled uh, brow brush and I pat the brow powder on, I use the darker of the two and I try to pat it on rather than swipe it on too much just so I don't disturb the pomade and again I only do that on the tail up to the arch. Once it's on, I work that powder through and forward towards the tip of the brow, just using a spoolie. This is the Rimmel Brow This Way Clear Brow Mascara, uh, just a bog standard brow gel. And I use it to finish off just by brushing my brow hairs uh, in the direction of the brow for the bulk. And I brush them upwards a little bit at the front, just to give the illusion of a slightly more bushier brow. Now, if you've been sleeping on the Jealousy Base, I am high-key judging you. This is in the shade Creme, and it is absolute life. Not only for carving brows out, which is what I'm going to do now with this MAC 2 on 2 brush, nice straight edge definer brush, uh, it's also amazing as an eye base. The reason I use a straight edged brush to carve my brows out is purely because it does all the work for you it gives you a nice smooth straight line and it just makes the whole process so much easier and fluid and it just gives the brows that nice crisp clean look that we're going for just just look at that i had to slow mo this bit because if you don't think this is a, this is porn we cannot sit together You're going to want to feather that carve down slightly, uh, regardless of what you use as an eye base, just so it's not a block of concealer underneath your brow. And I like to have a little bit of a unibrow moment and just join them in the middle so I know everything is nice and level. Your girl is a firm believer that the top of the brow should not be ignored, so I carve that out too. And for this, I'm just using the Primark Concealer in Toffee, just because it's closer to my foundation shade. And this is a Zoeva 233 that I have lash glued. I can definitely do a video on this if you guys would like. And I just repeat the same step above as below, just really giving that brow some structure and accentuating that sexy little curve at the arch. Thank you. 
and that is literally it once you've blended away any harsh lines at the front of the brow and the tail as well you are done your brows are ready obviously these brows aren't for everyone but these are my go-to instagram style brows and i freaking love them thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to comment like subscribe and check out my other socials